Okay. Right. So, the girl be um, <laughs> they tell us that the second derivative of this function is 2x, and they want us to find the original. They want us to find f of x. So, we're going to start just like we did yesterday. We are going to take the antiderivative of both sides of this first equation that they give us. I'm doing just what I did yesterday. It's yeah. Oh, it's frozen? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Okay, sorry. My bad. We're going to take the second derivative. We're going to take the antiderivative. Now, if we take the antiderivative of the second derivative, what is our result? The derivative. The derivative. The first derivative. Okay. So f prime of x is equal to, well, what's the antiderivative of 2x? x squared. x squared. Plus c. Okay. Don't forget that plus c. Now, yes, we are trying to get to the original. However, we got to find that c first. Okay, we've got to find out what that C is first. So, guess what? They tell us that the derivative when X is 2 is equal to negative 2. So, let's plug that in. The derivative is equal to negative 2 when X is equal to positive 2. So, we've got negative 2 is equal to 4 plus C. Move 4. Sorry, I teach math 3 right before this class, so I'm in the habit of showing all my work. <coughs> so C is negative 6. Okay, so that says for this function, the first derivative, its particular solution is x squared minus 6. We want to know f, so we have to integrate again. So we want to take the antiderivative of both sides. You really don't have to write this line again, but I didn't leave myself enough room to put my notation in there. When we take the antiderivative of the derivative, the result is the original function, f of x. What's the antiderivative of x squared? x cubed over 3. Add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. Antiderivative of negative 6, negative 6x, plus c. We want to know the particular solution. So guess what? They gave us one more piece of information, and we're going to use it. When the original function, when x equals negative 1, then the original function equals 2 thirds. So let's plug that in. The original function equals 2 thirds when x is negative 1. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so that's negative 1 third. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. <clears throat> Let's see here, 6 expressed as something over 3, that would be 18 over 3, so we've got 2 thirds is equal to negative 1 plus 18, so 17, that looks terrible, <clears throat> 17 over 3 plus C. And we move that to the other side, 2 minus 17 is negative 15, well what's negative 15 over 3? Negative 5. Negative 5 is C. So our original function, f of x, is, and you can write it as x cubed over 3 or 1 third x cubed, it doesn't matter, minus 6x minus 5. That is the original function. Okay? So really, it's the same thing we did yesterday. We just have to solve for c twice. We've got to do it in the middle before we can anti-differentiate again to get to the original, and then we have to do it again to find c for the original function. Okay, so <clears throat> here are a few problems to practice with that.